fellow Brick Fanatics, DJ Bricks here, back for another video, and today I have a review for a 2022 LEGO DC set based off the hit film The Batman that came out earlier this year. The set no is uh, Batcave, the Riddler Faceoff, set number 76183, is recommended for built-in ages 8 and up, uh, comes with 581 pieces and retails here in America for about $80. And it comes with uh, six uh, minifigures, uh, five of which are exclusive to this set. and. Uh, Pretty much focuses on what the set uh, name is. Uh, big play set based off of uh, Batman's base of operations for uh, the Batman uh, film. So without further ado, let's start deconstructing it and seeing how it stacks up, starting as always with the minifigures. So uh, first figure we're going to look at is of course Batman uh, based off his appearance in the movie. Uh, I've gone over this figure before so I'm just going to quickly breeze through it. Comes with Batarang. Uh, nice torso printing, nice leg printing. I just wish that the leg printing continued around the side there because it just looked uh, bad. They should have really dual molded that. Uh, again, he also should have had arm printing to uh, depict all the detail of uh, his armor in the movie. They used uh, the second generation of the back cowl here. Uh, probably just due to uh, whatever they were looking at for concept art. Uh, it does fine, I guess, but it really could have been better. And then they just reuse the same uh, comic book uh, Bruce Wayne had we've been uh, getting since 2012 for the Batman line. It does come with that single hole uh, junior style cape and flipping that up. Uh, getting some light in there for you to see. There is some nice back torso printing there as well. So next up is Bruce Wayne. Uh, reuses that same uh, face that we saw in the other uh, the Batman sets. Um, face has been around for a couple years now. Uh, it is a really nice face and it kind of captures uh, Robert Pattinson's kind of emo uh, Bruce Wayne that we got in this movie really nicely done and then he does come with some nice new torso printing uh, which is all nicely detailed for the bagginess of him wearing that suit with his bat suit underneath uh, leg printing is not new uh, originally debuted in a hidden side set but it is uh, pretty well nicely utilized here and then you can see the back torso printing there as well and then a new a uh, nice kind of feature here is you can have an interchangeable head uh, so you get the the motorcycle helmet uh, when he uh, uses his uh, bike in the set uh, or you can use this uh, to display uh, Bruce Wayne's outfit while he's Batman. Uh, you can do either or but that is a pretty nice inclusion and uh, helps with playability. Next up is Selena Kyle. Um, again, I already took a look at this figure in an earlier video, uh, but I'll quickly uh, go over it this time as well. Uh, she does come with a chain piece in black that is different from the other set where it's silver. Again, maybe miscommunication between the Lego designers there. Very nice uh, torso printing detailing the uh, her suit in the movie. Again, would have wished if we got that actual ski mask she wears uh, to become Catwoman, but uh, the face there is pretty nicely done. Uh, really reflects Zoe Kravitz pretty well, and she does come with an alternate expression, which is a lot more flirty, which is pretty nice. She does come with that short uh, Mutt Williams hair, and then she does also come with a motorcycle helmet if you want to play with her like that but I would have preferred uh, something resembling her uh, cat mask uh, maybe Lego didn't know about it but it is a bad cave set without Alfred so we got uh, the Andy Circus uh, version here um, 
it's pretty nicely done. Uh, Accessory-wise, he comes with uh, one of the Harry Potter wand pieces here in uh, black. Um, kind of representing like a cane or, or a walking stick or a pointer or something. Not quite sure what it's supposed to be even in the movie. Uh, torso print is not new. Uh, it's Jameson's from the recent Daily Bugle set. But it is... Uh, it does really get the job done there. And then the head print is very nicely done. It really captures uh, Andy Serkis' likeness uh, pretty well. And then he's got a more uh, stern, uh, disapproving Alfred expression. So uh, that is pretty nice. And that's what that looks like highlighted by uh, the hair. So... All in all, uh, pretty nice uh, Alfred. Uh, to Gordon from this movie, uh, he comes with a pair of handcuffs there in black. And then what's not shown on the box is he does come with a uh, revolver. So that is pretty nice for his accessories. Uh, nice torso print. Really nicely done, actually. Uh, I was expecting with uh, the white on that torso for it to not be... Uh, washed out but this does prove what I've been saying is Lego can do it uh, when they really want to and um, this is a clear example of that uh, leg printing uh, reused from uh, General Hawks but they did take uh, this is the newer version where they did take out the little bit of the tunic down there and then the head is very nicely done against that uh, medium nougat skin tone for Jeffrey Wright and that that head does look really nice. Does capture Jeffrey Wright's likeness pretty well. And then he has a more aggressive uh, facial expression on the back there. And you can see his uh, back torso printing as well. Um, pretty minor details, but it is nice that it is there. And then I forgot to mention he does come with that... Uh, that Peter Venkman uh, doctor uh, hair piece in uh, black there, so that is pretty nice. Last but not least is the main antagonist for the film, uh, this movie's version of the Riddler. Uh, Accessory-wise, he comes with a smartphone, uh, which is the uh, newer style updated print there, which is pretty nice. He also comes with an Uzi that is not shown on the box, but he does actually come with it. And then a third accessory you can equip him with is a stick of dynamite. So uh, those are all his accessories. Uh, getting into this figure, uh, no leg printing, but the torso printing is very nicely done uh, against an olive green uh, torso there. Uh, very nicely detailed, uh, very accurate to the movie. You get some back torso printing showing a hoodie as well as uh, various creases and details. Uh, that head is very nicely printed with his glasses and his eyes beneath it and the details of his mask. I don't know what uh, Lego was the designer was thinking of what they were looking at uh, for that hair piece choice uh, considering most of his head is covered and the hair is barely peeking out but uh, removing it they did print on some back uh, detail for his uh, mask that he wears in the film so that is pretty nice and uh, with that and with that off uh, you can see he does it does look substantially better as uh, the Riddler from the movie. I don't think the hairpiece uh, looks very good um, or makes it look any better. The set all built up, uh, pretty much you get, do get a uh, bulk of the build goes into building uh, the version of the Batcave for this movie, but you also do get this small assembly for a motorcycle for a figure to use uh overall build experience here uh was kind of partially frustrating and that just comes when you're building uh this part here with the stairwell and the little overhang uh number one uh some of those stairs don't want to properly didn't want to properly connect for me and uh a little tedious build down here uh down here at the little platform area 
but overall uh, this thing is pretty massive uh, and built up pretty nicely again if you want to pick this thing up I highly recommend picking out from the bottom like right here if you pick it up by here or grab it by here uh, that is very loosely connected it'll uh, pretty much break away for you as quickly as possible uh, we'll get into all this in a minute uh, any uh, decorations you see on the set they are stickers uh, there are pretty much no printed pieces on this set whatsoever um, aside from one I misspoke uh, that clock de detail up at the top there that is a printed piece everything else is a sticker uh, so we're gonna start uh, looking at this a little bit closer. So we're going to start by taking a look at the uh, motorcycle uh, that Bruce Wayne drives. You can also give it to Catwoman if you want, uh, but it's mainly used for uh, Bruce Wayne to, to uh, traverse Gotham uh, throughout the movie. Uh, you have a nice brick built uh, custom headlight there, which is pretty nicely done. A lot of new are pieces used to create the chassis down there. Nice part usage to uh, create some nice engine details and whatnot, but it is fairly easy to um, sit any figure on here and uh, have them grip the handlebars. You can kind of angle these exhausts here, but overall, uh, very nicely uh, substantial uh, bike just to give kids a little bit of a vehicle uh, to play with here. So uh, looking at the back cave in its entirety, I already did a 360 spin for you, but uh, you should know that uh, these flaps down here for uh, for the main platform here, they can be moved up and flipped up if you want, uh, especially at the back here. If you have a shallow uh, shelf here, you can actually flip those up, get it nice and flush against uh, wall there um, without it you can't really do that so that is uh, very appreciative but you can also expand your uh, play with uh, the sides here uh, both these little column uh, builds on the side they are very they are just clipped on with a hinge and uh, you can open up, get a little uh, wider expanse uh, to get figure fingers in there and to get figures posed around, make your uh, little cave here a little bit more expansive. So uh, we're going to start on the left side and go all the way around and then wrap up in the center uh, back computer area here. Uh, starting here. Uh, you pretty much have a nice little weapons rack here where you can put the battering if you're not using it or any other accessory. And you have his uh, grapple gun there clipped in there as well. Uh, flipping this out, you have a nice little computer d display or bulletin board uh, just clipped onto uh, the steel uh, beams here. Uh, just uh, Batman investigating the Riddler and all his crime. So you get a little spreadsheet of uh, all the various uh, places Riddler has committed crime so you can do a little uh, investigating play scenario there. Uh, here you have a nice computer console uh, using a uh, book cover piece uh, to create a nice little laptop and that is again made up of a couple stickers uh, pretty much uh, analyzing something of the Riddler and then you have a keyboard, which I'm, I was shocked that that is a sticker considering they have a keyboard print. Uh, I wonder why they didn't use it, but uh, that is beside the point. Uh, going up to the stairwell here, you have a uh, whole general thing is, is this is an abandoned uh, Wayne uh, train terminal uh, that the Wayne family must have owned. So you got a couple of uh, little uh, decorative uh, lights uh, to uh, highlight a path here. So that is very uh, nicely built up with some nice techniques there. You have a uh, nice use of stairs uh, to create a nice little walkway up here. 
going up to the top here, uh, you have a nice facade of uh, this. This is all very nicely built up. The big uh, uh, lamps up here are very nicely designed. And a lot of work went into uh, making the facade here. Again, you have a printed piece there. You have a sticker there. Uh, mine's a little crooked, sorry about that. Uh, you have some nice detail here. And then on the back, you have some nice uh, spots uh, to actually uh, pose minifigures if you want to. So that is uh, pretty nice that they do give you, um, that that's not just a facade with the front there, that you actually have studs here uh, to uh, play with. So that is very nice for kids. Uh, over here, you have more of the stairs. Uh, you have a nice, uh, more continuation of the same uh, designs from the other side down there. Uh, it is very symmetrical here. Uh, here you have something that was not in the movie, but I assume they just put it in here for play feature uh, wise. Uh, pretty much over here they put it in here for play feature wise, but before we get into that, we have to go back. Uh, I almost skipped over something. Uh, over here is a nice little display. Uh, spot where you can either put the bat suit uh, if it is not being used or what the box recommends uh, you put the uh, Bruce Wayne uh, drifter uh, there with the uh, helmet and black in there so it's supposed to represent uh, that Bruce Wayne is currently Batman so that is pretty nice and Getting back to this side, uh, here we go. Uh, it's uh, pretty much what looks to be like a toll booth or something, but it is it supposed to be a jail cell or makeshift one. You gotta stick around the front there. You can open it up, uh, throw Riddler or whoever in here, which is pretty nice. And there is glass on the back, so it's pretty, uh, nicely secure jail cell and then you can just put the chain in front of there uh, for and it, and it pretty it's pretty uh, secure makeshift jail cell however if you want to have a situation where Riddler breaks out or whoever uh, that's what this knob is for this just pops out and you can easily uh, get a figure out of there and break them out if you want to play like that. So that is very nice that they did at least uh, include that jail um, cell and uh, that play feature there. Uh, that is real fun for kids. And uh, going into this section over here, uh, pretty much... You have a little, on this table here, you have a nice little uh, platter with a uh, bottle uh, for uh, Alfred to presumably bring uh, Bruce uh, while he's working. And on this side, pretty much the exact same build there. Uh, you just have uh, Lego's standard assortment of tools here in silver uh, to represent like a tool rack along with uh, their saw piece clipped on there as well. And then you have this, uh, I'm assuming, in welding tank that's just pretty much just uh, held on by a one-by-one one one jumper. So this can easily just be knocked off, so be careful of that. But that is so you can actually just take it out and uh, place it wherever you want. And then getting into the main section here, you can uh, pretty much uh, roll the back computer along a track here, which you can bring this closer in if you want uh, for play, or you can put it all the way back. So if you want to park the uh, bat cycle here, or the motorcycle that's included, you can do that. But taking a look at this back computer, uh, all three sides are hinged, so you can angle this 
uh, however you want. All three have uh, various stickers uh, showcasing different details of uh, Batman's research here. Into the Riddler, uh, you have a coffee cup in uh, silver there uh, for some refreshment for Bruce. Uh, you have a keyboard down there, uh, which is a sticker. Uh, you have a chair uh, that Bruce can sit at and it can swivel around so uh, Bruce can monitor any of the three screens. And then this thing is a red tinted uh, magnifying glass and that is for a very cool and uh, specific uh, decoding uh, play feature. That so included in the set is uh, three uh, tiles. Uh, these are stickers, unfortunately. I would have liked to have seen these be printed, uh, but they operate on that whole uh, red tint uh, decoder gimmick that you see on other toys. So pretty much you just take the magnifying glass and you can uh, look through it, uh, eliminate all the red question marks uh, to see uh, to uh, pretty much solve uh, what the Riddler is up to. So pretty much on this one is, it just says to the Batman underneath all those Riddlers um, and question marks. Uh, this one is just a Lego fire version of the Riddler's uh, mask in this movie. Third one is just a uh, Riddler's uh, question mark uh, logo for this that he has for this movie. So that is a pretty cool play feature. Another cool play feature, uh, if you have the stick of dynamite that it really has, you can kind of tuck it underneath uh, one of the, one of these holes uh, where the grates are. Uh, pretend uh, Riddler's trying to blow up the Batcave somehow. But the other major play feature, and I really appreciate this, um, you can take the back computer off and uh, remove it and put it somewhere else if you so choose. Give yourself a little bit of a wider play area. And if you have the uh, smaller set in the line, uh, the Batmobile set, you can actually park it, which is really nice. I really like when they uh, add sets like this where they uh, design sets with other sets in mind so that is really really cool that you can actually have uh, the Batmobile uh, parked here which is really nice uh, that they did include that and did uh, make it designed uh, to do that so that I really appreciate uh, that um, encouragement to uh, buy other sets or enhance sets that you already have so I really appreciate whenever uh, the designers do uh, as we do get a brick separator included in the set and then it's pretty uh, standard for extra pieces here uh, quite a few uh, standouts though you do get an extra revolver and an extra pair of handcuffs there extra visor of course Batman set with batarang so we get an extra one of that and then you do get an extra of the Harry Potter uh, wand piece, uh, not on a sprue there. Here's the instructions, are pretty simple. Uh, it's, uh, it's got that book binding uh, style there. Pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't have anything uh, that we've seen from the more recent instruction manuals like the progression bar. Uh, this is probably because this is uh, meant to come out way before uh, any of LEGO started doing any of that in their instructions. But as you can see, uh, it does take a whopping 96 pages to build. Uh, you do have that cross off for the rest of the Batman movie uh, line there, uh, all the three sets parts inventory and then you got the win on the back with a pirate sporting at this time. You know, look at the box, it's pretty big and massive. Uh, that typical 80 to $90 uh, range size. Uh, you got a nice shot of the set in uh, action there, a uh, little touched up uh, for promotional purposes and um, nice background as well. You got that typical uh, flair we've seen for the Batman merchandise uh, with the logos up at the top, uh, that 
highly stylized art of uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman in the corner there. That weird thing that they did for this line with uh, the little minifigures uh, in that like Lego game um, token thing, which is really weird to me. Uh, top of the box, you have the Batman logo. Uh, you have Batman himself there, uh, supporting the actual size reference, as you can see. And then back of the box, it just shows off all the play features of the sets, as well as the fact that, like I showed, uh, you can connect uh, two of the sets together. So that is pretty nice. And then you, of course, in the corner there, got that lego fied version of the art from the front, which is pretty cool. Play features that are incorporated are very nicely well done. Uh, the back computer being able to slide back and forth, a little a decoder system. Uh, the fact that you can uh, remove the back computer and uh, open that up, just give you a little bit more space to play around with, all the studs that you can attach uh, to pose main figures around, a lot of play uh, value uh, there as well. Not to mention the fact that uh, they do uh, one of my favorite things, which is uh, adding experience if you um, buy other sets. So if you have the uh, Batmobile uh, that from the uh, smaller uh, Penguin Chase set. Uh, if you have that, you can easily just remove the back computer, uh, park that there, which just adds value if you have both sets. So that is really nice that the designer of this set thought about that and um, incorporated it very nicely. Uh, Mini figure wise, uh, Again, uh, complaints here, uh, Batman, uh, I feel like they could have done better uh, for the version of um, Robert Pattinson's here. Uh, I've made that clear in other videos. Uh, Alfred's fine, uh, Bruce Wayne's fine, Gordon's fine, uh, and then we get to uh, Catwoman and Riddler. Uh, Catwoman, I really feel uh, they. this might have been a... Um, them not knowing, but I really would have liked to have seen the ski mask that she wears uh, as Catwoman. I really would have liked to have seen that instead of the uh, interchangeable motorcycle helmet. And then uh, Riddler, uh, the only downside to him is uh, that hair piece just doesn't fit uh, for uh, that costume of Riddler. Uh, again, don't know what the designer was looking at, but again, that is something you can easily fix. You can easily just take that hair piece off and it just looks fine. So that, no big deal there. Quality wise, I didn't really find any issues. I just had to bring up the whole uh, no guns thing that uh, WB and AT&T had uh, where you can't really have action figures come with guns or something uh so that is prevalent here uh both riddler and uh, gordon uh come with guns uh they are not shown anywhere on the box as actual accessories they're just included uh, when you build the set and in the parts inventory uh but they are not included in the box so i feel like that is a little bit of false advertising there uh price uh 80 dollars for this in the here in america uh that is for 581 pieces, that may seem way off, but there are a lot of big pieces here. Uh, the stairwell, stair pieces, the girders, um, just overall uh, larger pieces. So that kind of makes the part count kind of seem not as uh, large for such a price. But for $80, you do get this nice, big, uh, expensive, um, Bat Cave uh, for the new movie uh, that that I feel like gives you a lot of play scenario for your money. It is a very well display piece if you want to do it like that. So all in all, a uh, set does get an 8 out of 10 for me. Uh, again, I highly recommend it. Uh, it is the best set. Uh, well, not arguably the best set that still is the Penguin Chase, but one of the best sets of the Batman line. I highly recommend you picking this up before it retires. Um, 
So that does it for this video. Uh, comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, how did I do with my review? What are your thoughts on this? I always look forward to having a discussion with you guys in there in the comment section and uh smash that like button uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um i will see you in the next video until next time stack on